There are a couple of messages I'd like to share before we get started. First of all, I need to give a huge thank you to GrumbleGamer18, who very kindly shared my last video to their community tab. Waking up to hundreds of views was a lovely surprise, it really meant a lot to me, especially considering how difficult it can be for smaller channels to gain recognition. I seem to have had an issue with audio recently, a few people have told me that my voiceovers have been too quiet. I think I've managed to fix the problem, and on top of this, I plan on buying a better microphone soon. If you're still struggling to hear me, please let me know in the comments. The thing about unsolved cases is that, there are answers, we just don't have them. That's what makes them so frustrating and difficult to stomach. Angela Hammond hasn't been seen since 1991. Try to imagine just how many unanswered questions her family and friends will have been carrying with them all this time. I just don't think it's possible. Angela Hammond, better known as Angie, was a friendly and popular 20 year old. She was born in February 1971 and she lived in Clinton, Missouri, a peaceful farming town which seldom saw crime. At the time of her disappearance, Angie was engaged to her beloved partner Rob Schaefer and was four months pregnant with their first child. The future looked bright and full of promise, but on the evening of April 4th, 1991, a horrifying chain of events took place which changed everything. Earlier that day, Angie and Rob had been at a barbecue. After the barbecue, the plan was for Angie to drive Rob home so that he could look after his younger brother until his mother came home from work. After this, Rob would meet back up with Angie. At around 10pm, Angie took Rob home before going to spend some time with a friend. At 11.15pm, Rob answered the phone to Angie, who was calling from a payphone just a few blocks away from his house. A green Ford pickup truck circled the block several times while Angie was in the phone booth. She had noticed it but only really became suspicious when the driver parked it near the booth and made their way towards her. Angie described the driver as a filthy, bearded man who wore glasses and overalls. I think I have a good grasp of how Angie must have felt in that moment. As a young woman, the idea of being approached by a stranger while I'm alone at night fills me with dread. Angie was in a vulnerable position and may have been unsure as to what exactly she should do to get out of a potentially uncomfortable interaction. Here is Rob's recollection of what happened next. He used the phone next to her, got back in his truck and looked at something with a flashlight. She described the flashlight to me over the phone. He was looking for something. I heard her ask him if he needed to use the phone, maybe the other phone was broken and he said, no, he'd try again in a minute. Then we just talked about other things. We weren't too worried about it. And that's when I heard her scream on the phone. I heard her scream. The only thing that went through my mind was getting up there and finding out what the hell was going on. I just dropped the phone and ran out of the house. I didn't hang the phone back up. I just headed up there. Rob raced towards the payphone. As he only lived seven blocks away, he didn't have far to go. As he got closer, a truck sped past him in the opposite direction, and he heard someone shout Robbie through the window. Rob turned his car around and attempted to pursue the truck, but unfortunately in doing so he had damaged his car's transmission. He managed to chase the truck for two miles before the transmission failed completely. The truck turned right and disappeared into the night. Angie was never seen again. Clinton was rocked by the 20 year old's disappearance. People searched tirelessly, but were unable to find any traces of her. The police hoped that at the very least they could identify the truck that Rob had been chasing. The Missouri State Highway Patrol performed computer search on all registered vehicles. The police were left with 1,600 possible matches and there were two things they had to consider in order to narrow these matches down. First, there was the colour of the vehicle, dark green. Then, there was the presence of a specific mural on the rear window of the vehicle. 
none of the vehicles fulfilled both requirements. As time passed, Rob himself became a suspect. No witnesses had come forward to confirm his account of what had happened that night. However, he did pass a polygraph test. Not long after this, two witnesses came forward to say that they had seen a truck and a suspicious person near the payphones around the time of Angie's disappearance. Rob was cleared. While Angie's fate remains uncertain to this day, it's believed that her case may be linked to two other incidents which happened in Missouri earlier that same year. On January 19th, 42-year-old Trudy Darby was robbed and kidnapped from the convenience store where she worked. Her body was found two days later, with gunshot wounds to the head. 30-year-old Cheryl Kenny, who was also a convenience store employee, was abducted on February 27th and has not been found. Half-brothers Jesse Rush and Marvin Cheney were eventually found guilty of Trudy Darby's murder, and investigators believe that they may have also been responsible for the disappearances of Angela Hammond and Cheryl Kenny. As of right now, the men have not been charged for these disappearances. Rob is still plagued by the events of that night in 1991. He has said, the beginning is the hardest because you know you were close enough to get him, but you just didn't get the job done. And you still wake up at night, wondering where she's at, wondering what happened, wondering if anybody's still looking. You're just wondering. All the time. I hope that whoever was responsible for Angela and Cheryl's disappearances will eventually be brought to justice, whether it was the convicted half-brothers or somebody else entirely. Nobody deserves to go the rest of their life not knowing what happened to someone who meant the world to them. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay safe and have a lovely day.